Have you ever come across the circumstance that when you're on a business trip, stay at home, or expand the second site as your branch office with only several employees? You really want to access and share the PBX in the head office with IP phones. No worries. Azure's PBX can absolutely satisfy the need with the feature of remote extensions. It doesn't matter where you are; you can register your SIP phone to the distance PBX. Work as if you were right in the office. Let's see how it works. Here's an example: In head office A, Azure's PBX has been deployed with a private IP and set behind a router with a static public IP. In branch office B, no PBX has been deployed, but an IP phone. What we need is just IP phone remote registration on the remote PBX. At the very beginning, we're supposed to have network settings on our router and PBX in office A, so PBX will be accessible for the remote extension. First, map SIP ports on the router. By system default, they are UDP port 5060. At UDP port 10,000 to 12,000. Second, enable NAT on PBX to ensure communication via the internet. Go to the NAT setting page. In this scenario, we choose the type of external IP address. Enter the public IP of the router and local network. Next step, turn to the extension settings. Create an extension 500. For the IP phone, since this extension will be registered by a remote terminal, we also need to enable NAT and register remotely. Otherwise, the remote phone will fail to register to the PBX. Now, let's jump into the IP phone. Take an e-link phone as an example. Log in the IP phone, enter the registry information and PBX static public IP. Once the registration takes effect, we can use it to perform tasks as those extensions in Office A, like contacting other internal users, receiving incoming calls from trunks connected to the distant PBX. Mind that the configuration of the IP phone in this video is only an example; it might be different from phone to phone. All right, that was how we register remote extension to an Azure's PBX. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just try it on if you have remote extensions. I will see you guys in the next one. Well, of course, don't forget to subscribe.